Okay, it's a Friday night in Amsterdam, and I'm on the edge of one of the more famous alleyways of the red light district here. It's called... Da -da -da -da. Odd Birds Stig. Anyway, uh, a lot of the drug tourists who come here, you know, they get off the, the train at Central Station, boom, this is one of the avenues they're going to go down. So, as a result of its proximity to Central Station, which is straight over there, there's the Grasshopper, one of the best known and largest coffee shops in the entire country, if not the largest. About four levels. Everybody knows that everybody's been in there, but uh, the fact of the matter is it has all the ambiance of a hard rock cafe. It's also very overpriced. However, the sign is pretty nifty. It uh, is a picture of a Jimmy, Jimmy, Jiminy Cricket knockoff, and I could show it to you, but it's probably going to be blotted out by the neon. So let's move along on down the avenue. So yeah, the whole red light thing. Boom, red lights. Ta-da. Also, the red light uh, name also comes from the windows of the prostitutes hang out in. Unfortunately, we're not going to see any prostitutes on this journey because if I were to shove a camera uh, up against their windows, they would beat the shit out of me. So, instead, we're going to see drug tourists and vod bars. So, because this is a popular place with drug tourists, naturally, the pizza shops are going to cater to them. So what you see here... Lots and lots of stoner food. In fact, they probably put donuts on the pizzas in there. Falafel's popular. More pizza. And this is an oft-photographed little sex shop called Chiquitas. In fact, just moments ago, I bought a pornographic stuffed animal for a friend's birthday. I hope he enjoys his, uh, his pink bunny with a very large penis. So, let's turn the corner here, and I'll show you some coffee shops. And of course, as we all know, coffee shops in the Red Light District means places that sell marijuana. Now, I should also give you a quick rundown on what a smart shop is. Now, what a smart shop is, is it's a place that sells various drugs, pseudo-drugs, as they would probably prefer it. It used to be where you could buy magic mushrooms. So the sign there, I can't tell if it's blotted out on the camera or not. It says they sell magic mushrooms, psychedelic herbs and pills, stack stimulants, energizers, psychedelic seeds, hemp seeds, heat products, and much, much more. The fact of the matter is magic mushrooms were actually banned in the country in 2008, but you can get grow kits where you can grow your... Uh, psychedelic mushrooms off of spores. So you can sell spores, but you can't sell mushrooms. So, another popular coffee shop is a place called Hill Street Blues, named because it used to be a uh, police station, and now it's covered in graffiti and filled with stoners. So, we're gonna continue on down the avenue here. Right now, we're on, what does that sign say? Warm a straw. So yeah, you're on warmer strut or something like that. All of these people are stoned or drunk or both. I have no clue what's going on in there. Thought it was a brothel, but no, it's just a hotel. Sorry to disappoint. If you can't tell, there are people who are ducking away from the camera because they don't want to be filmed. In fact, a group of rough-looking guys back there moved the camera away from them because they look pretty pissed off. So the last thing I'll show you, one of my favorite, uh, favoritely named bars in the Red Light District in Amsterdam, the Pinocchio Cafe. Now, it's probably blotted out because the camera can't seem to handle neon, but what that is is a perfect drawing of the classic... Disney interpretation of everyone's little foot wooden puppet. Uh, most likely, Disney Corporation does not know the existence of this place and would no doubt not approve. 
So, as you see, there's Jiminy Cricket, our second appearance of Jiminy in this video. The kindly Geppetto. And another picture of Pinocchio himself. Oh, it looks like they've got a special. You can get five Jaeger bombs for a mere 15 euro. Also, five bottles of Heineken for 12.50 euro. Um, so, there you have it. That's the red light district. I've gone well over my allotted three minutes. But, you know, given the subject, I figure it's appropriate. So, so far tonight, I've not had the crap kicked out of me. So I guess that's a good thing. Signing off from Amsterdam.